Breaking news. America has officially become a shithole country. Now, I know some of you might not like me saying that. You might say, well, go back to where you're from. Well, just like someone born in Hawaii is a U.S. citizen, I'm the same thing from the U.S. Virgin Islands. So that's like you can move from, the, from here to the U.S. Virgin Islands and live just like that. Same with me. You don't like it, sucks being you. The reason I'm saying that because a bridge in Philadelphia collapsed, collapsed today. Yeah. Yet this country has the unmitigated gall to say they want to go to war with China and Russia. They, they have a feeling by 2025, we're, we're going to go to war with China. The leaders in America have become completely inept. Maybe because they're a bunch of geriatrics running the show. Mixed with a bunch of sociopaths and psychopaths. And, com and, and people who are completely out of touch with reality. The thing I don't understand is the American citizens, a lot of us don't seem to get it. We don't really seem to get it. This country will send billions of our tax dollars to Ukraine. But then you would say it's a democracy. How? We don't vote for anything that's important. Did you vote to send money to Ukraine? Because I damn sure didn't. From day one, I told you I wasn't with that. That wasn't my problem. If you've been antagonizing Russia for over 10 years, what you expect was going to happen? That's not my problem. But they'd like you to believe, oh, evil Vladimir Putin is the... Man, look here, look here, look here, look here. Bro, that's in Russia. I'm the United States of America. That's not even next door. That's way the hell across the ocean, bro. That ain't my problem. I got to deal with right here in America. I got to deal with the problems right here. Vast homelessness. Infrastructure collapse. Old and decrepit systems in America. You see, I'm not going to glorify China too much. Because some of you might get angry. But still, I'm going to glorify it any goddamn way. Tell you what. You can even stop this video right now. And go look on YouTube right now. And look at some of these YouTubers who live in China. And you would see the vast difference. The stark difference. Between America and China. And you got to remember something. And I'm old enough to remember that in my lifetime... China, according to the history books, was rated as a third world country. I don't understand third world, first world, second world. I don't even understand that concept. Whatever, whatever. Just for the sake of this video. And within my lifetime, they are now rivaling America? And they didn't go to war with nobody? They didn't try to knock off nobody's leader? Had nobody, no start, no coup in no country? Tell anybody have to accept their ideologies? But America... Look what they're doing in Uganda. You gotta accept homosexuality. They say, no, that's not our customs. And they're still trying to force it down, force it down. The leadership in this country is sick, mentally ill. Because they want you to accept their concepts, their ideologies. As if you don't have anything like, hey, I, I don't like that. It's like me, let me make this quick analogy. Imagine me coming to your house and you're a vegan. I say, hey, man, what's it mean? You say, we don't eat meat. No, well, hey, I'm coming to your house. I need to have some meat. You're going to tell me what the hell would you go somewhere else? Rightfully so. We don't eat meat. That's in a discussion. If you want to go eat meat, you go somewhere else. But America, hey, we're not into homosexuality. Well, you're going to be into it now. You want our aid? Just take homosexuality. No, no we, don't, we don't believe in it. Keep your aid. Well, we're going to put sanctions on you. Wait, you can put sanctions on me because I don't want to accept that type of ideology? Are you serious? And a lot of Americans will hear that and be like, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of Americans, we really are sick. We really are. We really are mentally ill. Like I keep saying, mentally ill. They have a lot of normal-looking people masquerading as normal, but they're sick as hell. Just look at them. Just listen to how they talk. Like, yeah, they, they're kind of mentally ill, man. But we don't see it. We vote for nothing important, but they tell you have a democracy. Yet they keep sending money over, overseas, 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 overseas. And you have a bridge collapse. It's not the first bridge that collapsed in America, but this would be a glaring example in 2023. You got a bridge collapse, and in 2023, you're sending billions of dollars to Ukraine. This is the kind of stuff you can't make make sense. Even a crazy person would say, hey man, that don't make no sense. But we're supposed to swallow it? Don't question it? 
because you're un American and if you question anything, you're with Putin. You, don't you like how they always make a plan for you? Like, if you don't believe what they say, then you're with the enemy. It was their enemy, anyway, which we're like, bro, how, how you got to that conclusion? Obviously, I don't want you to send my tax dollars to Ukraine. And now they can collect Social Security? <laughs> Oh my God, what type of reality have I living in, man? Have I died and gone to hell already and nobody told me? God damn, that you have people who never even worked a day in the country can collect social security? And Americans, we're not up in arms about that? Not protesting the streets? You gave a whole lot of Afghanis bunch of money and houses and all kinds of stuff for a war you had no business in the country for over 20 years could had nothing to do with 9-11 in fact nobody had nothing to do with that outside of America to be tell to tell you the truth because it's still nobody can tell me what plane hit building 7 yet building 7 fell on top of itself like hey what's up bro I'm gonna follow suit like my two brick bros I'm gonna fall down the same way they fell down no building, no, no plane hit it now. No plane hit it. No plane hit the Pentagon because they had no type of debris, no fuselage, no seats, no tires, not even a handkerchief from the plane, nothing at the Pentagon. Uh, it might seem like I'm all over the place, but I'm not. All the lies that we are fed and you're not supposed to question anything. Kind of like soul and religion. You're not supposed to question that either, right? But hey, I know people get upset about that. It doesn't make any sense. This country has gone completely down the drain. Falling right behind the Roman Empire. And the, you think the leaders will have enough sense to say, man, okay, enough of this military expenditure. I mean, enough of this crap. And every so often, we got to deal with this, this, the constant charade of the debt ceiling. We got to raise the debt ceiling. No, we're not going to raise it. Yeah, we... Oh, man. Everybody knows by now you're going to raise it. Why all the theatrics? We all know you're going to raise it because you have to raise it. See, a big part of what I really hate China is because China came and pass America. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't, they don't pass America. And they didn't start a war with nobody. They didn't go in nobody's country. They didn't tell them, hey, what you need to believe. They didn't have a whole bunch of bases all over the world. But this small country called America wants to push its might all around the world and tell you this is what it is. And the narratives are so old and played out. That stuff could have worked before the internet, man. But in the age of the internet, you can't keep telling these lies and think we're not going to fact check it. Like, hey, bro, that don't make no sense. But they're going to keep doing it. Why? Because we don't say nothing. We sit back and listen. Let them do it and let them do it and let them do it and let them do it. All the while, your life and my life becoming increasingly harder. But they're going to always introduce some kind of... I want to say some type of... Um, the word I'm looking for escapes my mind. But they're going to put some kind of divisive ideology out there like we have this gender crap going on, like it makes a difference. Bro, I don't give a damn what gender you want to believe you are. Is that going to make my bills go down? Because if it will, I'm all for it. <laughs> but if it doesn't affect my bills, man, I don't give a goddamn about that. That ain't my problem. See, I'm the kind of guy who's focused on his problems. That shit ain't my problem. You can be whatever you want to be, whatever. That's cool. You want to be a tree? You can do that too, man. Bro, that ain't my problem. How about getting these bills to go down, man? Because I'm, I'm spending a whole lot of money in food, a whole lot of money in gas, a whole lot of money in lodging. So, I mean, uh, if you ain't talking about reducing that, man, anything you got to say to me, man, I really don't care about that. that that's bull crap. But to see the odds put this other stuff in there so you can get, you get you waste all your time, your time, your time, your time. Focusing on bullcrap that has nothing to do with your cost of living. You see, I'm, I'm that guy who's boringly simple, but I always focus on what's important. All this other crap we're talking about, that ain't important. Stopping the money going to Ukraine, that's important. Stopping all this military expenditure, that's important. Fix 
your country before you talk about doing anything. But you see, when you have leaders who all they can see is war, war, war. I mean, no matter what the problem is, war. Like, that's all you can do. Let's start a coup. Did you vote to send, to have America train troops in Africa to start coups? Over 50,000 troops. I didn't vote for that. But they say we have a democracy. You don't vote for anything. That's important. But, hey, I'm the crazy one. I'm the one that has a problem. And for the record, yeah, I know my channel is heavily censored. My channel has been censored for many, 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 many years. Well over 10 years. Done been demonetized many years ago. So it is what it is, man. But I wonder how far we're going to go before we, as a collective, begin to say, okay, man, you're going a bit too far, man. Do we all have to lose our houses, our jobs? Our ability to survive before we say, hey man, okay, you guys gonna live it too far, man. Can we deal with what, what's right in front of our faces here first before we start talking about helping anybody? Now you got the whole southern border open. And I'm, I'm not against human beings, but who's gonna support these human beings that come into this country? Who, who's, who's gonna do that? Where you, where you find the money to do that? But yet you can't pay the Africans in this country reparation? <sighs> man. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. This is this is a sad reality we live in. For a country that was once called the greatest country in the world. Look at its state of it right now. You have bridges collapsing in 2023. Philadelphia.